Hey guys, this is a quick outfit of the day. I just went to the mall today. I've just been there for like four hours, so I'm pretty tired, but I thought I'd shoot my outfit for you so you could have a look at what I wore. Um, I'll show you the whole thing. Just like that. So I'll start with um, my jewelry. I'm just wearing these earrings. They are costume um, earrings that I got on Etsy. They, uh, or just kind of like a Navajo inspired earring with the faux turquoise and the feathers. I really like these because I like big studs and these are just really pretty and they suit my style. Um, I don't remember how much I paid for them, like maybe $15. They were really inexpensive. And then I'm just wearing this Navajo ring that I got in Utah and it's silver and it's like a conch that's been folded over. And that was 50, 50 or so. Um, my nail polish is by Sally Hansen. It's this... Um, one called Barracuda. Unfortunately, in the bottle, it looks like really pale, pastel -y, but on the nail, it's much more turquoise, and I'm kind of annoyed with that. But the formulation's quite good, and it doesn't chip very easily, so I do like the polish. My other jewelry, I'm just wearing two necklaces. This one is uh, by M Jacobs by Mark Jacobs. So it's his like cheapy line that he has. I got it at Bookmark in Greenwich Village when I was in New York. I think it was like $15 or $20 around there. It was really inexpensive and has like crystal eyes. It's so cute. And then this one is a bullet necklace that I got on Etsy. The seller is called Another Feather. Um, it's Peridot, which is my birthstone. So I had to get it. And I love that. And it's a nine millimeter bullet casing, so my favorite pieces. Okay, for the clothes. I'm wearing, I'll just turn this around, uh, on top this sweater is from Aritzia. It's the Tallulah line and it has the guns on the back, which hopefully, uh, hopefully you can see there. I absolutely love this sweater. It's one of my favorite pieces. I love the pockets. I love the weight of it. It's super comfortable. Um, I wore it a ton when I was in Utah, and it's in like all my Utah vacation pictures that are on my blog. So if you don't follow my blog and you want to see it up close, um, definitely check out truenorthstyle.blogspot.com, and uh, you'll see lots of stuff there. You can just search like Utah. And underneath, I just have a flannel shirt. Um, this is Urban Renewal from Urban Outfitters, and you can see the patterns, like browns and grays. Uh, yeah, it's really warm. I just wanted an extra layer of warmth because it's kind of cold today, but I actually ended up being really hot with this on because I walked to the mall, and it's like a half-hour walk, but whatever. Um, this is, I think this was like 50 bucks. This was 75 I want to say, um, but well worth the price on the sweater. I absolutely love it. Uh, the t-shirt underneath is a burnout tee. I'll show you the design. It has a little pocket, and it's a v-neck. This is really hard to shoot. I'm sorry. I'm really bad at this. This is from Alternative Apparel, and it's just a regular t-shirt. Uh, I love their t-shirts. They're amazing. I think this is $26, I want to say, or maybe like low 30s. They're not that expensive. They're really good quality. So, love those. And then my pants are J brand Hulan, Hulan ca uh, cargo pants. And these are in the army green color. I absolutely love these. I know that they're really big like last year and they're sort of not as trendy right now. But I just think they're great staples. They look really, really good on. They're very flattering. And for cargo pants, you know, that's really um, not easy to find. And I love like the really, really high zippers. They're really cool. And on my feet, I have these little polka dot orange and white socks. They're from Aerie. They're $7. And then my Isabelle Morant um, charcoal lacal boots, which were very expensive, and I'm not going to tell you. So, um, yeah, those are little socks. And then the lacal boots, um, hopefully you can see them there. She made these again this season. Um, they're called the Dicker this season, but they're exactly the same pretty much. And I have them in black. The new season ones are a little bit more narrow, but other than that, they're the same. Okay, uh, for sunglasses today, I wore my oversized Wayfarers in Tortoise. Those are from 
I got them on Shopbop as well. Um, I, I really wanted to wear my Spy Burrows, but I couldn't find them anywhere. I really hope I didn't lose them. And lastly, my bag is my Mark by Mark Sookie, which just got re-released. And um, one of my viewers asked me to show it on to see the length of the straps, I guess. So that's what it looks like on. Um, it is best worn this way, like on the shoulder, and it's really comfortable and it stays on. There is also a small strap on the inside that you can wear it like on the crook of your arm with that. But I don't think it looks as good that way, so I always wear it on my shoulder. Now, um, for styling purposes, I think this looks great with any casual kind of outfit. I think this color leans towards more like bohemian, grungy, just because it's sort of a very muted, um, worn out kind of brown. Uh, it looks good with little floral dresses. It looks good with sweaters. It's kind of my style. If you like what I wear, this looks really good with what I wear. If you get the black one, you can go a little bit more like downtown punky because uh, the swallow is sort of a tattoo, like a Sailor Jerry kind of tattoo vibe, which, I mean, if you know the Sailor Jerry's, I have one here. Um, so you can go kind of more hardcore with it if you get the black one. But uh, yeah, I don't think it's really like a business type purse. I wouldn't wear it with like dressy clothes. Um, it's more of a casual purse. But I absolutely love it and I highly, highly recommend getting it. You won't regret it. Uh, the size is perfect. It fits a ton of stuff. It looks small, but it fits like a book. It fits like a big SLR camera. It fits a ton of stuff in it. And um, it's comfortable to wear. And mine was, I think, two, I want to see either 245 or 265 But I bought it at the Mark store in Greenwich Village in New York. Um, I think it's like three something in Canada, but still worth the price. It's a great bag and it's great quality. Uh, one thing to note though is that they do scratch really easily. Um, a lot of Mark bags do because they're really soft. So just keep that in mind. Like mine came kind of a little bit scratched, but it's part of the distressed kind of look of the leather. Um, so yeah, if you're anal about that, just be really careful. Um, I don't want to say spray your bag because I'm not sure if that'll affect the color of the leather, but maybe ask uh, where you got it if you think if they think that's a good idea. But yeah, it's going to get nicked up and it's going to get scratched, so just expect it because it's going to happen. But uh, I don't think it takes away from the look of the bag. Uh, yeah, so that's everything. I hope you liked my outfit. Do, 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 do. There you go, guys. And I'll try to keep doing these outfit of the days as much as possible. I know I didn't give you a What I'm Loving Wednesday for this week, so I'm going to put this up. And then I also have a haul from what I bought today at the mall, which is really random, but I'm going to shoot it anyway. So yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!